everyone, it's Latin Roses. Today I wanted to give you an update, a part two of how I cured my asthma. And the reason I decided to do is an update was because throughout the years I've been getting a lot of questions. Am I still inhaler free? Um, what exactly am, am I doing? What did I do step by step to actually get to be inhaler free? So I'm gonna answer those questions today. Um, what I did learn, the short answer is yes, I'm still inhaler free. But what I did learn is that if I fall off the wagon, if I don't keep doing what I did originally to become inhaler free, I can relapse. And to full disclosure, I did have one relapse in the whole seven years that I've been inhaler free. And I'll tell you that about that in a minute. The first thing that I did and I continue to do to stay off the inhaler is I'm off dairy. For the most part, I'm completely off dairy. I switched to almond milk. I, when I got my friends and I want to have some ice cream, I will get the dairy-free version or skip it. Um, if I drink dairy, I get bloated, I get gassy, and I can't breathe later on that evening so it's just really bad especially if I eat something like cheesecake if I eat that and I don't flush it out with a lot of water then I I can't breathe literally in a few hours after that so I try to stay away from it I love the way cheesecake tastes but it doesn't look as appealing to me anymore because I like to breathe more than the taste of it so that's important number two the second and the biggest thing that I did was, of course, as I mentioned before, was drinking water. Water, staying hydrated is key. Being dehydrated is just leaving you open and susceptible to a lot of diseases, including eating an inhaler to breathe. Uh, I did my research and that is what I found. Now, some people have asked me about the water cure. Have I tried that? I think about a lot of what I do is very similar to the water cure which is you have to drink um, so much water per your body weight and you also have to have put salt on your tongue throughout the day to help your body absorb the water i have done it on occasion where i've put, added salt but i'm not consistent so i don't really consider what i'm doing the actual water cure itself but i do encourage you to check out the book the water cure and do your own research on that so what I'm uh, sharing with you today, disclaimer is I am not a doctor and I'm just sharing with you what worked for me and helped me to stay off the inhaler. And I want to share that with you because being an inhaler is no fun and life can become really wonderful and joyful when this is the last thing you have to worry about, having this with you at all the time and you can just be free to you know enjoy your life so I want that for all of you too so that's why I'm doing this follow-up video for you um, what I also stay away from is people ask me about my diet what do I eat specifically I haven't cleaned up my diet completely like I still love my burritos and my tacos and my enchiladas as you know and I love that so much I haven't you know made the complete switch over to veganism now a lot of people on YouTube have said they also have cured themselves from using the inhaler by switching to a vegan diet and no more dairy and no more water. Again, I'm not trying to slam the dairy company, but that's just a fact for a lot of people. We just can't have dairy without having severe consequences. So I stay away from, um, I love my carbs and that's my problem, but I try to stay away from dry carbs what I consider like dry dead food, like potato chips. This isn't my bag, by the way, but uh, you can't eat this stuff. It will dry me out inside and I can't breathe. So I have to switch it to more healthier foods like apples. And so I do enjoy my carbs. I love them. I love pizza. I love everything, uh, Mexican food. But if I don't drink a lot of water to flush it out, I am in big trouble so and if I don't drink enough water I can fill it in here and I can't breathe as well that being said I 
uh, I am in trouble if I drink four cups of water or less and sometimes I can get away with it for a few days. If I'm traveling, I don't want to keep running to the bathroom. I don't always drink more than four cups during a day and try to make up for it at night, which is not a good thing and that can get you into trouble. That being said, full disclosure, I did have one relapse because I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. I was a couple days in a row, I had been eating a lot of junk, the dead dry food, and not flushing it out with enough water, and I had been doing some traveling, so I was drinking probably less than four cups a day, which is really bad, but I guess I felt I was okay because nothing was happening, so I, I knew I wasn't gonna do that for too long, but I did do it. I was out traveling, and then I was washing some clothes with some detergent that wasn't a name brand, and it, didn't smell too good, so I went ahead and did the laundry, and then when I, I don't know what made me do it, I just maybe didn't trust the laundry that it was actually clean with this detergent. I s smelled the laundry when it came out of the dryer, and right away, I felt like those chemicals from the dish, uh, from the laundry detergent went into my lungs, and I started having a coughing fit, and I tried to drink a lot of water, but I couldn't stop coughing. So I ended up going to urgent care. I explained to them what happened and they did end up giving me this inhaler. This was in the beginning of 2018. And I was determined not to go back to this life. So I started, ever since I had been coughing, I started drinking lots and lots of water and I was only on the inhaler for two days. Then I was off and I haven't been back on the inhaler anymore. And I know I did wrong because I was eating the dry dead food and I was not uh, keeping myself hydrated properly. So I kind of made myself susceptible to a relapse and then being exposed to chemicals didn't help. So I learned that lesson and I'm just sharing this with everybody so that it gave somebody a chance who's trying to help themselves, you know, give them a chance to be free of the inhaler. Had some viewers share with me some techniques that they say also uh, can help you be free of the inhaler. I have done minimal research, so I really don't know. So I really urge you to do your own research. But some of my viewers have mentioned belly breathing, proper diaphragm breathing to correct uh, the need to use an inhaler. Also, another viewer mentioned to me, I think a couple of viewers actually about proper lip closure, and that will help stave off asthma symptoms. And they might be onto something because ever since I was a young girl, I've seen myself in photos with my lips parted, and I'd be like, what the heck? And I'd have people say, why don't you why close your mouth? Why is it open? And I, I was unaware that I was doing that. It's just something I guess I naturally do. and. Um, I wasn't aware of it, so they might be onto something. So I urge you to do your research and check out all different ways. And again, I'm just telling you what worked for me and hopefully it might help some of you out there as well. I did have a few haters who said that I must not have had asthma if I no longer need to use inhaler. Well, I understand their pain because they're suffering and they haven't figured their way out of this yet and I hope they do, but this has honestly worked for me and um, I'm just hoping it will work for somebody else out there. I gladly deal with all the haters as long as in the end it, it helps somebody else out. But this is my truth and I wanted to put it out there so that maybe it can help somebody else out there. And from what I'm gathering from my viewers and the comments throughout the years, it has been helpful. So that is the whole reason I put out the very first video and now this update to answer your questions. So if you have any other uh, stories you'd like to share of your reco recoveries and what you've been through and any other ideas, I love hearing from you in the comments below. We are a community that helps each other. And if you like this video, hit like. If you wanna stay in touch, subscribe. And as always, I wish you love, peace, and joy.